Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett with HardOfCP.com and this morning what we're doing is we're getting this um, XSPC Race Storm Neo block installed and I just wanted to go through the process. We had some bad threads on some of the mounting posts, or actually just one of the mounting posts, and so we couldn't use those with our um, kit, the prototype kit. So again, it's a prototype kit, not a retail kit. But I wanted to go through the process of uh, exactly how we installed all this. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. So the mounting post I'm installing are not from XSPC. Again, I scavenged these off an older LGA socket. If you're wondering why they're black, I, uh, I color code these. I got different posts with different thread pitches on them. So I just color code them with magic markers so I keep them in sets easily. So we're going to get our block down. Get everything nice and clean. The uh, collar comes up. You need to make sure you got the right holes the right side. go kind of want to keep the pressure off the block this will give us enough space on those threads these however are not the uh, stock hold down nuts Okay, so even though we're not using the exact same kit, we are still mounting uh, the block in the exact same fashion. Now we'll get the system up and running and see how it flows. So here's our uh, Threadripper 1950X system running. After we've got it all dialed in, you can see we're at 4 gigahertz across all cores and we're running uh, Premiere Pro. That's a, a two hour 4K encode. And you can see we're also running two instances of Handbrake that are running 4K encodes as well. I found that these gave us our biggest wattage load. You can see we're running up to 530 watts at the wall with this load. But it's been stable. It's been running now for an hour and 45 minutes. And our final temp we got to on the core is right at 74C. So we're going to pull this block off and check our mate, see what our mating surfaces look like. I have a feeling that this is going to be next to impossible to get this block off here. Here we go. We didn't get as much contact out here on these edges as I'd like to, but we still got a huge contact patch and it was still definitely uh, over the cores.